Welcome, I am back. I am back at Stonehenge and um, I've come back because I wasn't entirely satisfied with my last shoot here. The light wasn't great. I think there's some better potential this evening, but it's a Sunday evening and the weather's good and that means it's kind of going to be heaving with people. I think there's a lot. Uh, I'm just going to say there's still a lot of people uh, arriving here at the moment. I think word has obviously got out. There's probably going to be a decent sunset at Stonehenge. I hope there is, and I hope, I hope, I'm going to be able to photograph it. And, uh, and so I suppose that's kind of the theme of this in a way, which is uh, if you weren't really happy with the last time, have another go. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to have another go. I should say a little bit else about why I wasn't entirely happy last time. It wasn't simply that the light wasn't right. Uh, it was also the fact that um, for some reason my photos were just not really sharp. I hadn't nailed focus. I'm not entirely sure why. So I'm going to uh, be a lot more careful and deliberate about getting sharp focus uh, this evening. So let's hope. Uh, for some good results. Well, certainly the light at the moment has some potential. This is looking really quite promising. Early days yet, but definitely looking promising. Well, here we are. Uh, it's got a bit quieter now and um, sunset has come and gone. And I think we've got a little bit of colour, but as is often the case, uh, what happened is that just as we got towards the juicy bit, a bit of cloud appeared on the horizon. Um, but nevertheless, if any of these shots are any good, then I will show them to you now. Uh, so this is the Z7 II and um, I'm trying a day to night time lapse with this one and this camera has uh, an excellent mode where if you put it in P mode and you set a limit to the ISO sensitivity, um, so in this case I've set a limit of 3200, then it will, uh, as it goes through the time lapse, manage this exposure triangle between exposure speed or shutter speed uh, aperture and ISO uh, to get the light right and so as it gets darker and darker it will go through uh, the various um, aspects of that exposure triangle and uh, and just automatically adjust it for you so I am hoping that what we're going to have if I stay here until after dark uh, is um, the kind of story of this place going from uh, about half an hour or so before sunset until it gets dark. And if that works out, then, well, here is that time lapse. Enjoy. Well, welcome to a very foggy and very cold start at Stonehenge. We're going to see if we can get some atmospheric shots of these stones. Let's go. We've got some early rises there for the uh, 
for the coach tour. And why not? They've taken the trouble to get up earlier than I have. Well, I've got to say that my expectations for this morning are quite low. Uh, but, we'll see. I must admit, I'm a bit jaded. I was up till about one o'clock last night. So I shot sunset and then I was about to go to bed. I thought, I'll just pop my head out the door of the van. Completely clear sky. And I just thought, how many times am I going to get the opportunity to shoot Stonehenge under the stars? So I got up and went out for about two and a half hours or so. Very, very cold. And it was cold that defeated me in the end. It's cold this morning as well. But I've had a nice warm breakfast. And let's see what we can make of this site here. These beautiful stones in the mist. Unfortunately, we do have a somewhat, um, well, obvious security guard in the way there, but I'm sure that that's going to be possible to crop uh, this chap out. Still, he's there doing his job, isn't he? Keeping us away from the stones. Well, the early morning mists are pretty much gone, as you can see. There's a little bit hanging around here and there. And the next tour party is about to arrive. So uh, I think that's it for this morning. The stones will be crawling with people any moment. So uh, I think I'm going to wind it up here, go back to the van, get myself sorted out for the day and uh, upload some of my photographs to, uh, to the laptop. So there you go. It's been a bit of a, a bit of a uh, well adventure here. Sunset, middle of the night, and now a little bit of dawn shooting as well. Anyway, thank you for joining me. If you've made it this far, I hope you enjoy some of the pictures. Bye for now.